Let me show you something cool that you can do with a bridge tool in Blender. And it's not what you think, so check this out. By default, bridge is for bridging two surfaces that have equal number of vertical edges, right? So if I'm going to nuke these faces, I can alt click this here and shift alt click this one and right click and loop tools and bridge, or I could use two with uh, machine tools, all right? But bridge can be used in different ways and they are quite interesting. So check this out. If I'm going to grab a circle here and I'm going to shift D that circle here like this, right? And they are the same circles, which means they have the same number of words. And I'm going to combine them with Ctrl J. Now it's a one object. I can go to edit mode, right? And, uh, you know, select all the edges. And there are two different menus for bridge, right? One is here which you can see is a bit different. And the other one is here when you go to edge and bridge loops, right? Different menu, so it's a bit more robust. Now by default, the connection is gonna be straight, right? But the reason why it's straight is because we have zero number of cuts. But if I'm gonna start increasing these, interesting stuff's gonna happen, right? So now you see that we get this kind of a pipe-like connection, right? But you can also change the blend from blend path to linear to a blend surface, which is really interesting. So you can, you know, play with that. And then also you have different, you know, profile settings for fall offs and etc. But this is really cool. Now, in addition to this, since bridge is kind of connected with loft, you can do this through multiple surfaces. So if I'm going to grab the same circle here and i'm going to shift d this and scale it on y axis right and then i'm going to you know slightly rotate it and then shift d that here right and put it somewhere here let's say and then scale it on the y axis like this we're going to connect them all with ctrl j and then i'm going to select this one this one and this one and bridge them right so go here to bridge loops they're all going to connect so it's kind of like a loft, right? And then obviously you can increase number of cuts and really cool things gonna happen, right? So now let's apply this and shade smooth and control three and you got that. So you can create some really crazy shapes and connections uh, on your mesh. You know, let's say we're going to grab a circle and drop this to 24. I think it's still too many. Yeah, probably too many. Let me just uh, select and check or deselect. And we're going to go to dissolve vertices. There we go. And then we're going to grab a plane. And we're going to put it in here, right? Okay. And we're going to select all the edges and subdivide them and repeat that operation. Okay, and uh, we can now delete all these. So actually, wait a minute, let me just grab these and delete words. There we go. So now we end up uh, we end up with this one. And I think the number of words should be equal. So now let's select these two. Control J, go to, you know, edge mode and bridge. Right? Well, we have too many, br uh, too many words on the circle. We're going to nuke one of them. So let's just combine this here and here. And we're going to space them. So loop tools and space, loop tools and space. And then I'm going to mirror this. Whoops. I can't mirror this because it's the, um, it's one object. It's okay. Let's combine them here too. And then we're going to space them. So they, you know, evenly spaced and then it should work. So select all that, go to edge mode, edge and bridge, right? There you go. And now you get this transition between a circle and, and, and a square, which is really cool, right? So if you're looking to create some really, you know, precise shapes for your sub D, this could be extremely interesting. And I can, for example, do something like that, right? Run the bevel here and let's just combine these, nuke these, right? I'm gonna nuke this one. And we're going to move this one a bit back and move it there and then we're going to shade smooth and control three and you got that so you see 
this tool is really interesting, right? Really interesting. Well, we're going to have to fix this, but it's not a big problem because we can run it like this and just mirror and nuke these two, right? And then there we go. We just have to actually can remove the middle one. There we go. Boom, sorted, right? And you know, that's, that's quite, quite an interesting shape. Now this is just a, you know, one of the basic tricks in Blender for hard surface, but uh, if you're interested in learning hard surface properly from a really good course, then grab our hard surface accelerator course, which is going to teach you everything you need to know about, you know, all these tricks, the menus, the tools, the whole workflow, including principles of design, because, you know, knowing the tools is a cool thing, but if you don't know how to model, then tools will not help you. It's just a tool, right? You need to still know how to use it in order to create cool stuff. And our course actually contains a whole section on principles of design, which will teach you how to create cool shapes in Blender using all that knowledge that you gain in a course. And there's a massive modeling section in there, rendering section. It's a really robust course. It's one of our best selling courses, tons of students over 5,000 and tons of testimonials. So if you're interested in learning Blender efficiently as soon as possible, especially hard surface, click the link in the video description or in a comment pinned under the video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.